My name is Steve Quake. I'm a professor at Stanford University and the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. I don't know where the confidence comes from. I have a bit of a reputation among my colleagues of being able to jump fearlessly into new fields and, and, and move around a lot. And definitely risk taking is important and you know, I've got that, uh, that phenotype. But certainly when I was a kid, I grew up during the personal computer revolution and you know, it was one of my buddies and I decided we'd set up a computer camp a few summers and we taught neighborhood kids and used the money we made there to buy more computers. And it wasn't until I went to college that I really kind of started to, to focus on physics and math and realized that that was a thing that I was super passionate about. Oh, I dreamed big, yeah. <laughs> dreamed of making discoveries that would change the world and starting a company and having it be successful. Physics has a great, great tradition of precision measurement. So I've been just real interested in this interface between physics and biology and technology. So that means inventing new ways to measure things. And when you measure things that haven't been measurable before, that leads to discoveries and inventions. So right now we're sitting in Fluidime, uh, which is commercializing the microfluidic devices, the small plumbing that uh, my students and I invented. Fluidime makes the biological equivalent of the integrated circuit. So they make chips. But instead of having transistors and wires on them, they've got small plumbing, little channels, pumps, and valves, uh, and they're integrated to uh, an incredibly high degree, hundreds of thousands per chip. People working in really diverse areas of science and medicine can use our technology to uh, advance their research and help people. And we've seen it in areas ranging from structural biology studies of Ebola virus and H5N1 flu up to how fisheries get managed to how cancer is analyzed. Uh, it touches many different areas. I became interested in developing new ways of DNA sequencing to try to solve this problem of, of the human genome. That led to our research in my lab to develop the first single molecule DNA sequencing technology and we realized that it had the potential to be just an awesome, awesome sequencing engine be able to use it to sequence a whole human genome uh, with just one instrument. So there's been a number of cases in my career where my personal experiences have, have led to new inventions and new companies and new areas of research for me. Uh, one of them was, was Veronata, where uh, becoming a parent led me to think about non-invasive prenatal testing. Uh, another was Immumetrics, where my kids' experiences with food allergies made me realize that there's a lot to learn about the immune system. In fact, there's not even a good diagnostic for how your immune system is working, and I set out to try to invent that. I like to teach people the joy of discovery. In science, when you're out there in the unknown and you make a discovery, it's just, it's a great feeling. It's really addictive. I like to explore places. You know, as a kid, we did a lot of camping and hiking and things like that. You know, maybe it's connected to how I approach things professionally. I never think about it in those terms, but uh, for sure, I like you know getting out there in the wilderness. That's where it gets most interesting, is when you're pushing the limits. You know, I try to be a mentor and, and lead by example. Part of that is just taking it step by step. Another part of it is hard work. Another part of it is trying to teach independence. The advice is to follow your dream. I mean, you really, there's always obstacles that come up, there's self-doubt, and you know, it's perseverance that carries you through. And you climb mountains, metaphorically and you can climb them physically, literally, and the view from the top is awesome. When I go off to work in the morning, the kids want to know why can't I stay home and play with them all day and they say, what are you doing at work and why do you have to go? And you know, I tell them I'm going to work to try to make the world a better place for them and their friends. It's a great job.